Most women are certainly aware now of increased dangers of smoking in pregnancy to them and the baby, things like reduced blood supply to the baby, cot death and so on and so on. I just didn't really realise in my previous pregnancy that me smoking would um, affect the baby at all. Now I realise that quite a lot of the carbon monoxide that I'm inhaling also goes into my baby. Smoking whilst pregnant makes a woman five times more likely to suffer with preeclampsia and eclampsia, which is a rise in blood pressure, putting protein out in the urine, swelling and ultimately is the second highest cause of death whilst pregnant. Smoking can contribute to like low birth weights and health problems later in life, even if the, the baby is perfectly healthy when it's born. And one of the knock-on effects is that the baby doesn't do very well in labour. That means the baby's heart rate can dip down, you're more likely to have complications. It could be that it's more likely that the baby needs to be born by a caesarean section because it's not well enough and healthy enough to withstand normal birth. You know, these are horrible things to think about, but the really good news is that there is so much we can do to help you stop. Although I wanted to quit, it was, it was difficult and I was worried that people would maybe think badly of me because I wasn't able to do that, just like that. It's not easy at all. It's very hard. You need that support there. There's a physical addiction and there's also the psychological habit as well. They're the two things that we need to tackle when we help somebody come off cigarettes. Do it with support, do it with treatments, because that will give you and your baby the very best chance. Do you smoke? I do, yes. Yeah. Roughly how many do you smoke a day? The NHS Stop Smoking Services can offer support on a one-to-one. -one. They can offer that in a group situation. They can do that by telephone or they can do that over the internet. On top of the support, there are the, all the forms of nicotine replacement which make an enormous difference to the chances of you stopping and staying stopped. So there's lots out there which is going to make a big difference for you. What I'd do initially is just give your information to the team and then they'd contact you and we'll have a discussion with you then on the best way to help you to stop smoking. I think if you feel it's going to be too difficult to give up smoking when you're pregnant, if you could just pick up the phone, it's as simple as picking up the phone, to call the number and to just for a five, ten minute conversation, they let you know what's available, what helps out there and it's up to you then if you decide to take it. For expert advice on ways to go smoke free, call the NHS Pregnancy Smoking Helpline 0800 169 9169. They have specialist advisors who can help you or talk to your GP, midwife or health visitor. They can tell you what's on offer locally.